Hello and welcome to Trove, I just named myself Arcane Acorn within the game. I also just listened to them talk about a sun goddess, which is apparently something that I'm supposed to enjoy, and the moon, which is something that I'm not supposed to particularly like too much because the moon was very, very evil. Anyway, that's all that I've done so far and I'm prepared to choose a class now. Oh, also, the, the, talking about the gods and the goddesses and stuff, they were giving me some goals that I think are pretty out there, you know, such as taking on the weight of the world or becoming the next hero in this immaculate and immersive adventure that awaits us. Okay, now, it would appear that there are eight classes. Indeed, a Lunar Lansar, a Tomb Riser, a Bow Omer, Bow, Bow, Freaking Dracolite, see? I mean, Guns Linger, Candy Barbar Ian, okay, Parati Captaean, fair enough, and the Knicked, 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 all right. Now, as I was going about that, thinking about the names, and thinking about how I could say them in a way that is exactly how they're supposed to be pronounced, huh? I was not actually reading them at all. So, Candy Barbarian, I'm thinking, no. Uh, Gunslinger, perhaps. Pirate Captain, nay. Knight, perhaps. Dracolite, no. Boomeranger, perhaps. Tome, raise, tome. I, I, even when I try to say it correctly, it comes out wrong. Lunar, oh, wait a second, wait a second. I have to do a thing. Okay, I gotta do a thing as soon as we get this class set up. All right, let's think about this though. Lunar, Lansar, probably not, but maybe also at the same time. I do enjoy Rangers. I think the Knight is probably standard. I'm thinking, I'm looking for a little more spice, you know, a little more zest in this fiesta, uh, as it were. So, Gunslinger, Boomeranger, Boomeranger. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I think a Ranger would be cool, but the name throws me off. I do not want to use a Boomerang. So I'm gonna go for no, even though Rangers are historically my favorato classe, as they sassay. As they say. As they say in a sassy way. <laughs> so Lunar Lancer or Gunslinger. These are the choices, dude. And you know what's cool? This is gonna sound weird, okay? It's not gonna sound weird at all, because I'm completely new here on YouTube. But since everyone has already left the video, I have as much time as I need to think about what class I'm going to pick. Whether it be a Gunslinger, or a Lunar Lance, Lance, Lane, Kerr. It's very difficult, dude, you know? English, while it is my first language, it's not my second language. Okay, we're getting way, way, way ahead of ourselves right here. Gunslinger or Lunar Lansar. Mm. Possibilities are endless. And by endless, I mean there are two. As you know, two is endless in a world of ones and zeros. Actually, that's two options. So in a world of just in a world of just one, two is indeed endless. It is an unreachable idea, such as infinity is in our world. Although it is reachable, theoretically, in the mind. I'm not- I mean, we could get into it. Actually, we could get into it because, like I'm saying, everyone has already left, dude. It's a little bit beautiful in that way. Alright, Gunslinger, Lunar- I'm gonna go for Lunar Lancer- Oh, wait! I can read about them? Are you joking me? Guardians of the Twilight Stratosphere, as Lancers accumulate lunar power as they fight, eventually erupting into full lunatic mode. They can also call down a blessing from their missing deity and use grappling spear for damage and mobility. Mm, interesting, although it does turn me off a little bit. I'm not into the idea of being weak. And then having a zone where you're a, like like they're saying here, lunatic mode, like you're slightly weaker most of the time. And then for this period of time, this short period of time, you are way, way, way stronger than everyone else. I've never been a fan of that, so I'm going to keep reading. 
Especially starting with my second choice right here, Gunslinger. The Gunslinger's an eagle-eyed range from fast, dead black enemy who do bend a lot of your foe with a boiling guard. Then use your ultimate to gun them down in a hail of energia bulletas. All right, the boomerang of are skilled with both bow and blade. Bomb your way through better rock and stunt your enemies to fight with your trusty boomerang. Ah, ah, ah. When things are get to area scary, loba who mysterious turn into the fray. Hmm, very fascinating. Very fascinating indeed, Knight. The Knight is a durable armored fighter who wades fearlessly into melee combat. Charge your enemies at a close distance, but if things get messy, hmm? Your ultimate will restore your health and let your shrug and let your shrug off blows with ease. Sometimes I think I can read, but then I find out in due time that I cannot. <laughs> This is interesting, though. Do all classes have an ultimate ability? Is that what I'm... A salty sea dog with a love for explosions and the high seas. Blast your foes with plunderbuss for doubloons. How about this? For triploons, it's better than a doubloon. Eh? Eh? No? No, everyone is gone. Uh, every, everyone was al was already gone. So guess what? Everyone who is still here was laughing at that super hilarious funny joke to upgrade your first mate's cannon. Bait foes with pretend pirate. Pretend pirate? What could that be? I do nay know. And unleash man of war for a fiery finish. Fascinating. A mighty, mighty warrior with a lust. Mighty. Mighty is an interesting word because when I take a cup and I fill it with hot water and then put a bunch of plants into it that I don't know what they really do, some herbs maybe, that might be tea. A mighty warrior with a lust for battle that is matched only by a hunger for sweet treats. Leap into the fight, then beseech your patron deities. Yes, crumb to Earl down upon the heads of your enemies. Very fascinating. The unlife of the party. The unlife. Okay, you know what? I gotta give them that one, dude. That's pretty that's pretty chill, dude. I'm pretty chill with that joke right there. Animate minions, then heal them, and damage enemies with your basic attack, piercing beam, enhance your attack and defense of that G boom and combine your Bone to Raj into a grave Goliath. The dragon light is a fire mage who commands the, the might of dragons. Use your flame thrower to charge up your dragon link. The only reason I'm taking so much time here, all right, let me explain. It's because I feel like the class that I pick will have a very significant role in the in the rest of the game and I believe the game is very very extensive and if I do end up putting a lot of time into the game I would like to have a class that I feel like I would enjoy thoroughly yes indeed indeed boomer ranger boomer ranger knight my top two now, I think, after reading the descriptions, are Knight and Gunslinger. The Knight is a durable armor fighter who waits for you to see a man to come and charge your enemies close to but things even the order before you have letting short up blows with these. Hmm. Gunslinger is an eagle dive ranger. Fighter with blast and he's a dwarf. I think I'm gonna go for Gunslinger. Let it be ridden and let it be t Am I even gonna put this in the video? I'm- I'm gonna put this in the video, but, um... Yeah, am I gonna put this in the video, you know? Am I, am I gonna put- I don't know, how, how long have I been discussing which class am I gonna pick? I might just cut all that out, make it into like a highlight, make the video unlisted. And then one of these days, when I get super de duper de duper de famous, I will take it off unlisted and then people could look back here and see what I was like when literally zero people were watching what I had to say. Because, like I'm saying, everyone is gone by now. Okay, so... <laughs> Three, two, one, and action. I'm looking at the classes here and I think I'm gonna go for Gunslinger. I've read through all their descriptions on the little information bar over here and Gunslinger it is, let it be chosen. There are indeed objectives. In the upper right corner of your screen, the first steps, press W, A, S, or D to move. That's very important, it could be or D and use the mouse to look around. My reward is 5x, and then a thing. I would imagine that is a basic currency. Mm, yes indeed, yes indeed. Completing these will guide you through the basics of trove and give you an awesome rewards along the way. Excellent, that's what I like to hear. Indeed, go! All right. 
First thing I need to do though, is turn the music off. It is essential in more ways than fun. And did it, did it, did it, did it, gotta turn the music off we go. All right, let's see. How do I find it though? That's the question. Is it escape? Oh, settings. Settings indeed. I was th I was just sitting there thinking, you know, am I going to throw this in? I think I will throw it in though, you know. It's good. It's, it's good. Just a little bit of a little bit of a thing. Music volume slider. Now, here's exactly what the music sounds like after I accept this. <laughs> How did that sound? Pretty good. Pretty good. I think it sounded pretty good.